Hello friends, uh, Aston here. So today's project is about a Google Calendar uh, tool which is used to watching or tracking your events in your calendar, okay? So let me give you a very quick demo here. So here uh, is my Google Calendar, here, as you can see uh, on the right side of the screen. So if I try to create an event here, so let's say this is an event, uh, event A for testing and I can add a guest so for guest let's say so let's say this one for my test account okay so I can just save and send this uh, event to my test account and here uh, in the Google Sheet as you can see uh, since we have uh, we have two uh, Two email address. So the first one is uh, the first one is basically the guests. So you can have multiple guests, of course. And this one is the creator or the uh, organizer uh, for this event. And so that's why we have two uh, rows here in the Google Sheet. And uh, here you can track the status for if the uh, if your guest accepts or declined your event. So if I go to my Firefox, uh, where is my Firefox? Okay. So here, as you can see here, this is a new event. Let me delete this one. So uh, this is for event A. Okay. So if I click on yes, so this is the test account. I click click, uh, click on yes, and here for this test account, as you can see that. The status uh, right now is yes. If I click on maybe, okay, so it's not updated to maybe, okay. And if I click on no, we should get another status for this response. So it's no. So of course you can create more, okay. So if I say this is the event B test and uh, add another guest for myself and uh, let me just click on save and send this event so here we are tracking two events in, in this spreadsheet right now uh, event A here and the event B here okay I think we have some formatting issue for this date here this one is correct for the created and the updated so I'm going to fix it after the video, but anyway, uh, you will see the status here is changed. So of course, uh, for the creator, you also can have this option. So maybe, so if I click on no for this event, so basically the creator cannot attend this event. So I like to update it maybe. So this maybe is for the task B, right? And uh, if I go to Firefox, this is a test account here. This is a new event for test B. Okay, event B here, so I can say yes. Uh, we're going to do the same thing, okay? And basically, the think the latest status for the event we basically created here. So this is a tool, and this is about the project. If you are looking for something like this, and you can simply make a copy of the project okay which i'm going to send you uh, you should be able to find a link a copyable link okay in the description of this video and uh, you can make a copy so let me uh, do the configuration for you here so i'm going to send you a link like this so you can make a copy so this is a link and uh, let's make a copy of the project And the setup should be very easy, okay. Uh, so this right now is the copy of my project and uh, you can have this data removed, okay. So don't change this name, okay. Keep this name events. And uh, if you cannot see a menu called calendar, okay, don't need a while, you can refresh your, uh, refresh this page, okay. So right now we have this uh, menu here called calendar 
and uh, so first of all you need to click either so any of these buttons should be fine to, to complete the authorization process okay so click on continue and uh, select your Google account click on advanced and uh, go to okay gas dash 093 this is the project name for the app script so you can change it if you like and uh, this is the API or the uh, the resources we're going to use so allow okay so so the, the authorization process now is done and uh, you need to run this function here initial thing okay you need to run this and uh, this should be done very quickly not sure so it's done okay and uh, you can try to run this thing now but i don't think you can get any data here but you can uh, you can see the headers uh, is here so if i try to create a new event or you add it any any event so let's say this is event copy okay so this is a copy of the project so let's say this is a test for the copy and then we can add a guest here from my test account here and i'd like to send it save and uh, send So now here, as you can see, uh, we have this tracking in the in this spreadsheet, and of course I should be able to see it here, of course, because we have two projects. Um, so you only need to have one, but if you want to track different purpose, maybe you need to categorize the event for some reason. You can track them in one file, and then you can also track them in different files. Uh, but then, but but we need to. Uh, basically uh, change the code a little bit to basically split maybe you have some categories uh, we can tell from the title of the event or somewhere you can define in the event so we just need to have some conditions or identifier to tell the difference between type of events okay so now we are tracking this and uh, if I go to Firefox for my so let's say let's go to my email for the test account and we can verify this is now working so event copy and let's click on maybe so we should have this updated very quickly so now it's maybe for this guest okay so this is set up is very easy and uh, this initial sync is going to uh, do something here. So if I go to the app script from the extensions app script, so this sync function is going to sync, okay? It's going to create a, a token, okay? Uh, basically, create a next sync token and save it to the project properties. So let me show you. Uh, we're going to create our next sync token and save it here so this needs to be initialized for the project to run successfully okay so this is the first thing uh, this function do okay and another uh, another thing here is the trigger okay we need to create a trigger uh, to to catch or to watch the events in your calendar okay so we have a function here called on event update and this function is going to be executed every time there is a calendar update from this account here okay so for you this is this is a different email address okay but the, the other settings should be the same from calendar and the calendar updated so this is what uh, if i delete this trigger and uh, I try to and I delete uh, this so if I delete this and uh, save so now if I try to in initial sync 
and it's done. And if I go back and I reload this page, you will see no. Okay, we have a token here. And if we go to the triggers, we have the trigger set up. Okay, so that's something you need to do at the first time. Okay, when the project is set up, you need to basically complete the authorization process and then you run this initial sync function to have this trigger created and have the uh, the sync token uh, saved to the project and uh, you should be able to go and uh, to track your events in your calendar and with all the data in uh, Google Sheet like this. Okay, so I think that's all about this project and uh, let me know if any issues or questions. Thank you, bye-bye. But I'll be okay, I move on each and every day, the past is where it stays.